Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwa miyasa ala. Kwa hulu wa imla yahu wa bashim yahu shai. Baha shemra kaha kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. And that by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Akhanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And uh, this is uh, another one of those judgment videos, man. Uh, we have to continuously be on top of these things because we're living in the last days. And our job is to let our people know to be circumspect, to walk circumspectly. And to warn the flock, you know what I'm saying? That you're living in some very dangerous times and it's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and Son, not Jehovah, not Jesus Christ, not um Yahushua and all these different names. It's Yahweh, true name of the Father, which means he exists or the existing one. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of his son, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. The white Jesus that people be normally praying to, that's an idol. That's that's called idolatry in the Bible. Because the Lord doesn't look like that. The scriptures doesn't describe him as looking like a blonde haired, blue eyed white guy. And we know that the letter J was invented in 1524, 500 years ago. So 2,000 years ago, no one was calling on no damn Jesus, man. But anyway, this is um, an article in the, the Mirror, U.S. And it says, woman screams, help. He's trying to grape me before being shot, deleted by a total stranger during workout. And this is, um, you know, pretty much on you know, some broad daylight shit, you know. So these are the types of things that are happening in, in, in America. Because this place is getting a, a lot more crazier and crazier. And also, this is something that Yahweh Shai spoke of in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12. Let's get that real quick and we'll read into some of the article. It says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Now the disciples in verse 3 up here, they asked him. It says, as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So they're asking him what's going to be happening. And this is one of the things that he spoke of. Let's read it in the, um, the New Living Translation, Matthew 24 and 12. Sin will be rampant everywhere and the love of many will grow cold. See, these are the times that you're living in. You're living in some very cold times, man. Very, very cold times, man. So let's go back to the article. There was some people around, I think. But, you know, hey, um, people are not jumping into action like how they used to for women anymore. That's another thing. You know, that... The, um, that scale for women when it comes to you know the opening the doors for them and the you know helping them you know lift things and pick up things if they see them you know on the side of the road with their hood up men don't stop for stuff like that no more you know if it's a woman standing there you know they see a woman with a flat tire they'll pass all by her now and that's what the world is pretty much done come to and really it's that queen of worship you know that 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 part of this place is falling as well so Hey, high time to awake out of sleep, man. We're living in some, some very brutal, brutal times. So it says a fitness enthusiast was shot dead by a stranger who tried to grape her during a workout Monday after she screamed, help, he's trying to grape me at a ten at a Tennessee Greenway. And she probably, you know, hey, you know, these these influencers, man, they be out here, these, you know, little fitness and you know that, you know, they, they be wearing some some shit. <laughs> that you know that that to get a man's eyes to turn him, boy. And this guy, who knows? He probably stalked her, man. He probably had been watching her for a while. The victim, Alyssa Lokitz, 34, was found deleted on the Mill Creek Greenway off of Old Hickory Boulevard around 5:30 p.m. So this, yeah, this daytime, man. Bystanders who were near the scene described hearing a woman scream, "Help! He's trying to grape me." just before gunshots rang out okay so it's all right the next day the metro Nash nashville police department took brentwood resident paul s park 29 into custody in connection to her murder hmm. so he's 29 years old probably seeing that boy she probably was nice you know they them doing hey some of these women that be in a hey, they they hey, they be in there looking nice man because they hey, they working out to look nice 
You know, you got some that go off in there. They, they're trying to get to the point of getting nice. But if she was a, a fitness enthusiast, that's what it says. A fitness enthusiast. That means that she already had it together. More than likely, she already had it together. Right. Matter of fact, let's um, let's put in her name. They may have something in. Um, let's see. Cause she, I'm sure she, you know, they got Instagrams. They got all kinds of shit. You know, they got all. They got it all, man. And if she want a bad looking lady, it's her. Yeah, this is her. I'm assuming this is her. Yeah, she's a pretty lady. Not that bad looking. You know what I'm saying? They're not showing body wise, but you know, I'm sure she's probably in there. And it don't take much these days. You know, they be in there with the little clothes on, the little leggings, the little shorts with the with the wedge up their ass cheeks. You know what I'm saying? And 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 who knows, man? This guy, he probably a hey, <laughs> was like, hey, I gotta have that. Because, you know, these people don't have no social skills. They don't have no game. As a matter of fact, let's see if we can get a picture of him. Because he's probably a complete goddamn weirdo. I'm thinking this is him here. Let's see. Uh, she was walking on the trail. Okay, okay. So, yeah, she was out walking on the trail from what this story is saying. A woman was... You no know, deleted while walking on the trail. Okay, so all right. Tuesday and charged the man with murder. That guy, uh, let's see. Cause they don't have no photo of him. Right, right off. I thought this was one up front, but I'm assuming this is the guy. We probably have to just put his name in, though. Know? Yeah, this is horrific. Woman killed in trail while exercising at the witnesses here screen. And, you know, people, I'm telling you, man, these days, people hear, hear, hear some screams and they getting the fuck on. They not. It's not like it used to be, man. You know, all that, um, what they call it, uh, chivalry. It says chivalry is dead. They not. Nah, man. People, people not, they're not into that shit no more. They hearing some, some screams. They either going to break out their phone and record your ass being fucked up or that's why the scripture says that the love of many shall wax cold. Nobody running into action. You know what I'm saying? Let me see though. It says even with the suspect in custody, those who walk the trail. Let's see. I don't want to go all off and no no bullshit. <laughs> Oh, man. Like you, yeah. By a stranger and dragged over to these woods. That's where witnesses heard her screaming for help. Minutes later, they said there was gunfire. When police got to her, they found Lockett's had been shot in the head. She was taken to Vanderbilt, where she died. Many walking on the trail today said they had no idea this had just happened hours ago. Diane Wolfolk is out here almost every day and noticed these flowers. She says at first she thought they were leaves. She then realized it was rose petals marking where Lockus died. It's just sad. It's sad that today that people can't go out and walk anymore, you know, without fearing for their life. I guess, uh, like, you know, we talked about earlier, I might want to get some pepper spray. Police See? I'm talking about going out and getting some damn pepper spray. Well... That pepper spray wouldn't have helped her. You know what I'm saying? More than likely, he still would have just been letting off shots. Probably even more shots. But now he hit her in the hit her in the head. Probably hit her in the face, man. There could be a closed casket. But the thing of it is, is the love of many have, have waxed cold. You know, you see these people, they just like, oh yeah, it's scary, and but they still out getting their walk in. They still doing their thing. You know, even though he's caught, you know. The people are still afraid, and you and if you notice these, you know this appearing to be some Edomite shit. Now this guy right here, let's see if we can get a better picture of this guy, because he's he he could be. They, they might throw in there that this, he's one of these goddamn immigrants that's um that's done snuck into the country, right? But the scripture says that hey, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, because around 5:30 p.m. I know, well, here right now with the season changing, uh, it's getting darker. 
It's getting dark right around 6.45-ish or so now. So, I'm not, su not sure about Tennessee. But you think that, you know, you well, maybe she probably had already, you know, it, it says she was a fitness enthusiast. She probably had already worked out that morning. You know, those enthusiasts, you know, they, they, they go hard about it. So they, you know, they get their little evening um, thing in too. So that's, that might've been what she was doing, but you know, Hey, you're living in a world where it's not safe, bro. That, that's why the scripture talks about um, walking circumspectly. Let's get that real quick. Yeah. You women better wake the hell up, man. There's a lot of stuff going on out here. And you think that she would have just been like, Hey, well, look, let me turn around real quick and, and, and just go ahead and just take the box, man. She's all screaming, you know, this, this, and he laid her down. <laughs> I mean, hey, she probably would have been, you know, um, overall distraught. But it it would have been best she had just gave that boy that box, man. And it's going to be a lot more of that going on, too. Where, um, you know, women are going to be screaming and they're not going to have nobody to come to their aid. It ain't going to even be this 911 to call. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Because as she had a man, you know, and maybe she did, or maybe she had a husband. It's not talking about she had a husband or children, you know, which she probably didn't because a lot of those fitness enthusiasts, they're not into stuff like that. They're not in the family. They're just in the, um, you know, taking photos and, you know, showing, look at me, look at me, look at me, you know, trying to make money being a damn influencer or something. But as she had a man, you know what I'm saying, of, you know, a real man with some damn sense would have told her, nah, what the fuck you think you going? You better get your ass, nah, you, nah, you ain't, nah, it's not safe out there. Take your ass in there and, 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 and work out on it. I'm sure she got some type of workout shit at the crib. I'm willing to bet you she got some type of um Peloton or some running machine or some crazy shit. But anyway, man, you got to walk circumspectly and also pray. I've been bringing it out as of late, man. That um, First Thessalonians at five and seventeen, one of the shortest verses in the Bible, man. Just three words: pray without ceasing. <laughs> Matter of fact, though, the verse sixteen says rejoice evermore. Just two words, <laughs> but it says pray without ceasing. You should be praying before you leave the house, man, and doing what you have to do. And then you know, being into this truth, the average woman is really, really into this truth. She's not going to be out that time of day, man. She's going to be at home handling the, the you know the house and things of that nature because that is around the day that's evening is about to come a new day is about to start it's about to get dark at that time um, of the day man um that's not a good you know and, and you know just in general that's why you got that one scripture it talks about let's go into the apocrypha real quick where it talks about getting up b time doing you know getting up and handling your business early and just go ahead and going you know being at home man when it's early you know earlier ecclesiastes 32 and 11 also known as the book of Sirach, it says rise up be times and it just simply means to rise up early get up early and be not the last but get thee home without delay you know don't be the last to be out doing some shit just go ahead and you know get up in the morning you know you're going for your walks you know you may need to take some damn um pepper spray with your ass but overall your protection is your how about shimmy i was shy because he's the one that um um you know kills and makes alive. He's the one that wounds and and heals. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. He's the one that's in control of who lives and who dies. Matter of fact, let's get yeah, let's get you know what? Let's get the one in um First Samuel. First Samuel two and six. It says, "The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up." See. So the Lord is in control of who lives and who dies. And um, the another precept to that is um, Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Can't get around that, man. And she was a fitness enthusiast, which means she, she was more than likely proud. Because generally those women are proud as hell. Because the men, they're proud as well. It's, it's not just the women. You know, these these people that go and they work out hard as hell. You know, Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride go up before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. 
Yep. So, you know, they in that mirror constantly. They constantly taking pictures. It's constantly me, me, me. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Yep. But it says, um... Says she was ambushed at the park. She was walking by the area of Greenway. They say he emerged from between two parked cars and began following her. Yep. Surveillance camera didn't catch the crime play out, but it did capture a scratched and bloody park returning to his car, bearing obvious signs of scuffle of a scuffle. Yeah, he had to have been watching her, man. I don't see him just, you know, but just all of a sudden he pops out and there's other people on the trail, which is still kind of crazy. You know, later that same night, a witness local to the area gave authorities dash cam footage from their car that was parked at the Greenway tra trailhead. The evidence provided police with a clear image of Park as well as his car. Another witness was able to give a portion of the suspect's um, license plate number. It was later determined that Park was the identical twin brother of a suicide case that occurred in December 2021. God damn, boy. Detectives arrived at, at um, his home at, um, Tuesday afternoon waiting to obtain a warrant for his arrest, which was requested but still pending. They followed him the moment he left and finally pulled him over in the Autumn Oaks area of Nashville when the warrant was issued. His current, He's currently facing questioning at okay the um, police headquarters. Those close to Lokitz mourn her untimely death saying she was always kind, enjoyed working out. Yep. Guy Gilk, Chris, the victim's neighbor, said he couldn't believe a stranger would do this to his friend. I am absolutely devastated by this, and I am very shocked, he, he said. Locus was a proud graduate of Vanderbilt University who mostly worked from home and loved to help others. She was just incredible, kind to me, and neighbors a daughter, he said. Sass was probably stalking, too. The incident has put residents on high alert. John Rutherford, councilman for District 31, has called for more gates, lighting, and patrols in the area to prevent other crimes. That's not going to prevent nobody. That guy popped out at 5.30 in the afternoon. Like, shit, what, what the fuck? It's not going to help. If somebody's trying to get at you, I mean, these days, it's, 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 it's easily accessible to get at a person. That's why you need protection and safety from the Lord. Not no goddamn gates, lightings, and patrols. <laughs> for real. He emphasized the need for license plate readers. See that? That right there is going to go up into your MOTB too, your mark of the beauty and the beast. Because Esau, he's it's 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 like um what's that uh that movie with um Tom Cruise um Minority Report pre crime, you know your ass they pull up on your ass because you thought about it, you ain't even do it. <laughs> this is what Esau want. That's the reason why he wants to um implant the people. He really wants to, um, let's go on to, uh, I didn't even read that far into the story. I didn't know they was going to say that, but that's the spirit. So we can pull this too. Revelation 13 verse 16. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And, and, and see, they'll gradually try and push things over into, well, it's to keep people safe and, and we'll be more safe. If we know where everyone's at and if we can just pinpoint everyone and we can, you know, uh, really can't think of the billionaire. One of these billionaires that was talking about um, oh, fucking cameras everywhere. I forgot. I think he owned Oracle. I'm not sure. It's been a while on that. But anyway, he was basically like if we, you know, surveil everybody, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it's guaranteed to uh, make sure that crime goes down. So this is what they're, you know, gearing on doing anyway license plate readers what the fucking license plate reader is gonna do um um for this man and they pretty much got them everywhere anyway now they they real sneaky with the shit you, you know you look at look up there on some of these light posts when you're at a light or something like that you'll see that um it's, it's they they got the cameras and the readers already even the police um vehicles the, the squad cars it's not they don't even have to even you know get to typing nothing into no damn computer they, they pull up Shit automatically beams in on your shit, and then it's uh, information comes up on your um on, on the computer. You know they can see if you got insurance. They can see if you your um your license is suspended. They can see all those things. You know going all the way dating back to whenever you first started to drive. 
<laughs> you know, you can be 60 years old. Motherfuckers can be like, oh, yeah, he got his license, you know, and whatever, whatever, in 1949, whatever the fuck, man. So Esau on, the, on, on our heads already with this tech, man. Verse 17, it says that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And a lot of freedoms have been given up all in the name of helping the community. And that's how Esau come at you, man. He, that's why the scripture says to, um, let's get that, never trust thine enemy. Because he's going to come at you in a subtle way. He, he He's real. This motherfucker is, is the original snake, man. Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. It says, never trust thine enemy for like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, that's what this this um this this district guy, you know, this this politician is running for. He's humbling himself. He's crouching. Oh, well, we can, you know, we just get more license plate readers and it's gonna help the community. Next thing you know, you know. They on your ass with you. You just, you know, these people are just losing all their freedoms. And they're they're signing over all their freedoms, all in the name of um you know, all in the name of safety, where this man had created all the shit that you need to be safe from. But anyway, it says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away, which means eventually he's going to be like, gotcha, bitch. You know what I'm saying? That, that Dave Shapiro, gotcha. You know, or you didn't see that coming, huh? He's setting you up. He's setting the people up. I just wanted to touch on that. It's just a spirit, man, because license plate readers are not gonna gonna save. You think a license plate um, reader would have saved this lady? Only thing that would have happened was they would have found out who this man was, maybe a little bit quicker. But they still was able to find out. Guess how they was able to find out? Because they used the damn camera on somebody else's car, which that's showing you that the freedoms are gone. Your your freedoms are, are through. There's a camera on your ass at all points, man. Maybe not as bad as China, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a camera. These people can follow you anywhere, man. You're not getting away with any goddamn thing. Unless you can get to a point of maybe um, dumping your car and getting on foot and, 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 you know, crawling your way through some damn woods or something. And even then, you know, they'll, 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 they'll find cameras on the other side of the woods and, 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 and still they, they'll scour years worth of damn camera footage if they need to to run your ass down man so esau he he got the game on lock man when it comes to that he says he emphasized the need for license plate readers which will be particularly difficult to achieve because that request needs to be approved by the mayor who has withheld funding yeah we have been dragging our feet on that as well he said police chief Agreed during a press conference Tuesday saying LPRs make us safer. See, this is how they're going to move on the people, you know, with all this safety shit, safety, this safety, that safety, this bro. That shit was not going to save homegirl. That wasn't going to save her, man. Anyway, though, we pretty much we see what it is, man. And, and, and this world is getting more and more closer to the end. But I didn't know that that part was going to be in the um, the actual article, which is cool because our people really need to know that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he's about to come down with some very draconian shit. And, and those rights that you think you have, you can forget about it, man. They're daily getting rid of them shits. Matter of fact, your little constitution is a wrap. But this guy's name is Paul S. Park. He's 29. Let's see if we can get something on him. He's probably just your AA and look, though, the, the, the uh, Antioch. Arrest made in Antioch, Greenway. Good old modern day Rome for your ass, man. Antioch is in the scriptures. Let's see if they got some better image. Is this the guy? Oh, shit. Hold on. This might be him here, I think. Damn, hey, okay. No, nah, yeah, you know, hey, they be some damn um, weirdos anyway. Yup. They be some weirdos anyway. This motherfucker is, uh, Hey, he, I don't know if he Moab. I don't know if he um Ammon. Or he could just be a uh old chinky eyed ass Edomite. You know? But they be weird like that, man. They, you know, cause they don't have no game. They don't have no game. 
These the ones that's over in China that's ordering robots and dolls and shit to be um, to sleep with. They don't want nothing to do with no woman. They don't have no social skills whatsoever. Now, had he just walked up on this chick and been like, you know, well, can I take you out for dinner? You know, my name is such and such, such and such. What's good? You know, let's go out. And um, are you out here all the time? You know, you walk, you know, you know, yeah, yeah I'm in the fitness my, my, myself. Why don't we sit down and have some coffee one day or some tea or, you know, let's go to it's a it's a fresh juicery shop around the corner. You know, no game. She could have been like, oh, no, I'm not into that, you know, whatever, whatever. But he could have just approached her, which he probably I'm sure this guy probably didn't have seen this lady before because he I'm sure this is something that he, he probably been stalking this lady overall. You see, is this the same guy? They got a few of these guys. This the guy right here, though. This him. Ah, damn, bro. You was trying to go. You was going, damn. You just, the lady won't give up the box and you just shot her? Boy, I tell you. Hey, well, hey, look, y'all. Hey, well, you ladies, man. Be on, be more on point, man. As a matter of fact, I mean, really, we're, we're here for our women, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans overall because you are the Israelites. And you 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 really need to repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai. We all do, you know what I'm saying. But you women, man, y'all are generally out here in a bad case, man. The so-called white man, he he has made you feel as if you can just be free and, and get abroad out here, and it's not safe. It's just not safe, man. But see, she had that that thought, like, oh, you know. I'm just going to go out and get a run. I'm just going to jog. I'm going to get my six, seven miles in. You know, you know how they be out there with their little outfits on, you know, because that's a fashion where that's a trillion dollar damn near corporation with them leggings. Got the little smartwatch and shit. I'm with, hey, I bet you she had that Apple smartwatch on and her, her fucking heartbeat probably was, was, was 300 beats per damn minute when that guy ran up on her ass, her vitals. She could have fell over from damn heart attack just from being scared to damn death. But this is Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. Ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. And girl sackcloth upon your loins. That's not talking about strip down to your damn leggings with, 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 you know, your ass cheeks bulging. You know what I'm saying? That's talking about repenting. Basically, you know, being remorseful and sorrowful. And because, and, you know, a sackcloth goes off of two, that type of material and clothing that goes off of two, mourning. Come down off that high ass horse you on. All that goddamn pride. Look at me, look at me, constantly in the mirror, constantly taking damn selfies. That's not going to be a good look for you in these last days. Because guess what? I'm, I'm pretty certain this guy was watching her. But there are, say like that neighbor that ne lived next door to her, that he was saying she was so nice. He was probably already stalking her ass too. So guess what? When there's no when there's no 911 to call, when, when all hell breaks loose, these men coming to find y'all. They already been having these secret fucking crush on you motherfuckers forever there's not going to be nothing to stop them from coming to, to see you you're going to be like tommy what are you doing here where did you come from and he's going to be looking weird as hell with that dumb ass look on his face with with with, with that that chucky knife <laughs> I'm telling you man things about to get real fucking crazy out here man y'all better wake y'all asses up I want to get one more in the um, Apocrypha here. Let's go to Brahm chapter, I think it's 25. Ecclesiastes 25 and 25. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. See? Our women, or women in general, that gadding abroad just goes off into that liberal freedom that you have to just move about the earth at two or three o'clock in the morning you're not you know what i'm saying uh you, you just feel so damn safe in, in this man's kingdom but anybody can pop out on your ass at any point in the game that's like that other lady i think it was in new york the guy popped out from between two cars there 
and wrapped the damn he put put his belt over her head and and and, and you know made the damn belt basically turned her ass into a dog on a leash dragged her ass in between two cars and 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 and, and clapped the cheeks man that shit was caught on camera so it's not like you know I get it. Some women, they are being a lot more careful these days. Hey, a lot of women, they actually, you know, have guns. I know here in, um, you know, in Michigan where I'm at, shit, um, you know, average chick you might run across in this boy, man. Yeah, she's going to have that, that, that pink pistol, you know, but that's not going to help you if he gets to drop on you and overpower you. He's just going to take your little pistol, whip your ass with it, and still take what he wants. I seen a video like that too. It was a lady. She, I think she, she was. It looked like she was in a bodega store. She's on her phone. She got some other shit in her hand. Her little gun is hanging on her hip. So both of her hands are in use, and she's not paying no attention. She's not looking around. She's not being circumspect. And the guy, you know, walked up on the back of her and shit, man, and um, and grabbed her damn gun off her. So, you know, she tussled with him, but you know, he ended up wrestling her ass to the ground taking what he wanted and 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 you know it wasn't nothing she could do the eight matter of fact it was a guy here a, a police officer not that long ago i don't know what happened to these two guys two jakes the police officer he was in uniform he had stopped at a gas station probably to get something to drink or some shit like that he was in line paying and two jake jumped in from behind and tried to take his service revolver he was in there tussling and scrappling with them and shit like that, you know. They ended up catching these two dudes. They never did get the gun. But, man, he was in there fighting for his motherfucking life. And, you know, that's broad-ass broad daylight on cameras, HD cameras in a damn gas station. These two Jake tried to take the uh, service revolver from a uniformed police officer. So just think about the type of times and days we're in. When there's no one, when you can't call these people. Man, oh my goodness, man. It's going to be shit on fire, smoke everywhere. People going to be, you know, barricading them. So, man, shit about to get crazy as fuck in this place, man. And you proud ass women, man. The Lord going to, I'm telling you, y'all going back in the order. Y'all, y'all, hey, y'all going to be some of the main ones that's going to be got at because why? You're the weaker vessel. You, your children, the elderly, you're the weaker vessel. Those are the ones that's going to be preyed on. Hell, even the strongest men you know, I'm going to be out here I'm, I'm getting preyed on, man. So just imagine you women. All that tough talk. All that I can, you know. I was just watching a pop, pop the balloon hookup. Um, it was a Jamaican version of it. And, you know, all the guys, it was this lady, all the guys, they popped their balloons on her. You know what I'm saying? So she was already pissed from that. Every single last one of them. It wasn't even one guy, you know, that, you know. So they going down the line asking, you know, well, why did you pop your balloon, whatever, whatever. But she got to this one guy and, you know, he just rated her a damn zero and she was pissed. And she, you know what I'm saying? She, um, you know, was arguing with him. I'll body you. I can body you. You know, like, well, why are you trying to fight with this man? He, you're, he's not your, you're not as tight. Why don't you just take the L and keep it moving? You know, she ended up, um, you know, whacking him over the head with the microphone and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, and they had to. You know, get security to clip the shit. But, you know, hey, that was that was her. Now, had that been a whole another situation or they was in an area where those men didn't step in to stop this guy from whooping her ass, he would have whooped her ass. You see? But you're living in a, in a society where they have this ability to get abroad and they're able to just move about the earth and, you know, everybody's stepping in to help her ass out after she done done all the bullshit. But, hey, man, hey. Just saying, this, this, he's a damn weirdo, though. You can clearly see this This guy probably never had no box. That was probably, and and and, and for real, he, he looking real weird. But this lady right here, man, she's not a bad-looking chick. The lady not that bad-looking, man. He probably was eyeballing her ass already because, you know, like I said, if she's a fitness enthusiast, when they say enthusiast, you know what the word enthusiast mean? That means you really into that shit. All your life is into that. And it says she's 34. It don't say nothing about no no kids. It don't say nothing about no husband. Only people that spoke for her was a neighbor. You don't even see her, you know, um, 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 you know, maybe the parents was distraught. Dad or mom, no sisters, no brothers, no auntie, nothing. She had graduated from Vanderbilt. You know, I already know, hey, you know, that's that that career. I'm 
I'm about my career. Hitting the gym seven days a week, you know, drinking smoothies and just got this, you know, this, 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 you know, probably just weird to the point of not having a man because she wouldn't cook a regular meal anyway. He would have to uh, probably cook for him damn self or go out and, and get something to eat. Because she only got protein drinks and protein bars and her shit. Anyway, though, I'm going to end out there, man. Look, shit is getting grimy out here. Shit is getting grimy out here. Man, see, here's another. Let me see if this one says. And these are just um, links, other articles. New York State, man. Deleted, shot deleted after... Row over parking space explodes into savage violence. Yeah, people losing their goddamn mind, man. It's, it's better to take the L, take the low road, and keep it pushing. This one right here says, Haunting C CCTV shows last encounter of girl, 12. She's 12 years old with Houston men accused of deleting tween minutes later. See? So the world is getting ill, man. That, that's why we say a prayer goes a long ways. Because the Lord is in control. He knows where the, you know, where, where, you know, all the trigger points are at, man. So it's best to pray before you leave your house, man. Anyway, I didn't go into any comments, you know. This person, Skyler, says we're not safe anywhere. Stop cuddling these, these murderers. Stop giving the, start giving the death penalty. Better yet, take care of them the way they took care of their victims. My deepest condolences to her. R.I.P. Y'all that. This person says, that's what I've been saying for decades. Yeah, yeah. Says, with a no good piece of shit. What a, what a no good piece of shit. All he gets is free health care. Watch TV, food, justice system sucks. Yeah, he, hey, Esau, yeah, that's why that scripture talks about um, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And when the um, wicked bear rule, the people mourn. That Proverbs 29 and 2. Because the wicked is running the earth. That's why you got so much wickedness going on. And they the same ones running around talking about some goddamn um, um, license plate readers. More cameras. More lighted areas. More gates and all this bullshit. Shit not going to stop nothing, man. More gun control. Well, you, you, you take away the guns, there's nothing for somebody to get a big ass tree limb, a stick, a bat, a knife, a tire iron. You know what I'm saying? Anything can become a weapon. And people so frail and fragile these days and don't be paying attention to shit. It's nothing for a person to, to jump right out of their car with a uh, you know with their 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 you know their tire arm, you know, that you change the tire with and, and walk into a uh, an establishment and get to whooping people over the head, and motherfuckers ain't gonna do shit but 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 you know, get to screaming. You might have somebody eventually come running in and tackle his ass down, but before they do that, guess what? He done whacked a couple of people over the head, man, to the point of taking them out. Especially older elderly people. He can beat them whack three, four, five of them over the head and they done. And depends on what size he is and how lunatic he's, you know, he's really looking. Ain't nobody who gonna step in. Who gonna step in to help help out? They gonna get to running. Anything can become a weapon out here. You got a car. A person can drive over your ass with his car. What you gonna do? You know, it, it's people out here, you know, that, that, you know, that'll take money to, to delete your ass for somebody. It's so, it's so many ways, man. So many ways. So all that gun control shit, you know, it, it, man, this place is through, man. People that do this deserve the death penalty. No second chances for these. Hey, I mean, well, that's scriptural. This person says the laws are failing to protect the innocent women. Today's women have to carry a weapon. Well, you can carry all the weapons you want. But it's still not going to make no difference because, you know, hey, it's overall, that scripture says that no one can get you out of the hands of the Lord if he wants you. That Deuteronomy 32 and 39. None of that stuff is going to help if the Lord wants your ass out of here. 
And these people don't have no faith in the Lord. You know, this, this is, um, you know, one of those places where they get to talking about God bless America. It's a Christian nation and all this other bullshit. Says so sad. Who's raising these monsters and unleashing them on society? Stronger penalties for parents that are not parenting. Well, that's a grown ass man. He's 29. What you what you gonna go and get the parents for the shit he done? License plate readers do not work if they are only in certain locations. They have to be spread out. If they know from one case it is in the parking lot area, then a criminal will avoid it. Yeah. Anyway, you know all that shit, man. Some bullshit. Esau system is some bullshit. He's the one that's causing the chaos. He's the wicked, man. When you got a wicked people ruling, hey, that's what the scripture says. When you got wicked people ruling, the people are wicked. These very people in here that's with these comments and shit, they wicked as hell, too. And that was one of them spirits of vengeance, man. Which I could have grabbed that, too. Matter of fact, let's end out with that. Let's get the spirits of vengeance scripture. Since we already in Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 39. Verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. And their fury. Salakia. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction. They pour out their force. And appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts, the scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when he is. When the time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So you have these spirits that were created for vengeance, man. They wasn't like, well, Lord, she's 34 years old. She's just a fitness enthusiast. She's going to college. She has a great life ahead of her. But like I said, it, it's not talking about no children or no family. You think this lady had a family in mind? No, really, she's somewhat of a waste of a woman. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you know, women should be procreating. You know what I'm saying? They should be, you know, you know, um, you know. It, the Lord said to be fruitful and multiply. He didn't say, you know, um, get your career on and 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 have one child when you're in your forties if you can. You know, your your, your biological clock is running down now. You you, you know, you trying to go somewhere and, and 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 let a doctor inject your ass with somebody's sperm but that this is the world that you're living in you're living in a, a very wicked chaotic ass place man with wicked people running the place man and the lord got these spirits of vengeance out here to handle everything so you're not getting away with nothing man anyway we will end there pray that this lesson was edifying with that kwam yashallah and you women be um circumspect men as well you know um just watch yourself, man. You know, um, and actually, like I said again, you pray, man. Pray to Yahweh by Shimia was shy, man. It's, the prayer goes a long ways. That scripture don't say pray without ceasing for nothing. So with that, Shalom.